springtime is finally here, and this means it's also time to spring clean our medicine cabinets. Now, it's really important that we get rid of unused or expired medications, and there are a few different ways to do this. Probably the best way is to use a medication take-back program or go through the DEA, that's the Drug Enforcement Agency. Take a look on their website and they can give you authorized collectors of medications where you can drop them off and they'll be disposed of properly. Some examples of this are sometimes pharmacies or police stations and things like that. Now, if neither of these are an option, there are many medications you can dispose of in the trash, but you want to be careful about how you do this. Make sure you put the contents of the medications in a plastic bag and mix them with an undesirable substance, something like dirt or coffee grounds or kitty litter. Seal up the bag tightly, make sure you remove any identifying information and throw it in the trash, but keep it kind of concealed so no one can get into it. And finally, if you have medications that contain potentially dangerous substances, um, opioid medications, hydrocodone, things like that, um, many times these medications need to be flushed down the toilet because they can be so dangerous if animals or young children were to come across them. But the bottom line is if you have any questions about how to dispose of your medications, make sure you read the labels on your pills and check with your pharmacy. My name is Dr. Jennifer Cardle, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Family Medicine at Rowan University School of Osteopathic Medicine.